Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to generate the permanent access token. So once you have reached to the dashboard of the app listed page, you can see app name, app ID, mode, type and business. So you can see this is a link. So this is a business link. So just click the business link in the new tab. So this will navigate to the app business portfolio page. Then so under the users, expand the users and select the system users. So nothing apps doesn't have any system users yet. So nothing app is my business name. Then I need to select add. So I need to accept for these both things. Just click accept. Thanks for accepting our non-discrimination policy. I just click done. Then I need to give a system users name. So in this case, I'm going to give the users name as this admin. So this can be anything. Then once you give the name, then I need to select this system user role and select the admin. So now I click create system user. So again, this pop-up is, I just click accept, again click done. Okay. So now you can see this admin. So this name can be anything. This can be David or Joseph or Andrea. So this name can be anything. So now this admin is an admin system user. So after that you can see assign asset. So in this assign asset, there is no apps associated. So first I need to assign the asset. So I just click assign asset and I just click the app. I just click this app name because for this app only, I won't regenerate a permanent access token. Then I just click manage. So once I enable this manage app, automatically this partial app access also getting enabled so now i just click serve changes i just click done so now what i have done is i just created admin system username called this admin then i assigned the asset so this is the app i am going to generate permanent access token for so i am going to generate a new token for this app under this admin system user i just click generate new token so again, I need to select the app. So this is the app. I'm going to generate a permanent access token. I just click this one. There's two option, token expiry date. So if you click never, this token will never go into expire. So if you click 60 days, this is a good thing, guys. So in case if your token is uh, exploded somewhere else, then you can uh, somehow manage it. I just click 60 days. So it has been a two years, guys. I am working in the WhatsApp Cloud API and WhatsApp Close. So in case if your business needed any kind of consultation or development, so you can contact me. So just go to my YouTube channel and click this link and make a connection in the LinkedIn. To work with the WhatsApp Cloud API, we need two permissions. One is WhatsApp Business Messaging. Another one is the WhatsApp Business Management. You can see in the bottom WhatsApp Business Management and WhatsApp Business Messaging. That's all guys. If you want to work with some other things like uh, catalog management or business management, so you can enable it. So in this case, I am not going to work with any of them. So I just click generate token. So the now token has been created. So I need to copy and serve it somewhere else because so once I click OK, this will disappear. So I just copy and serve it somewhere else. So now I want to tell another thing guys. So this is clickable. So if you click this one in the new tab, this will open the access token debugger. So in this debugger, you can see all the details regarding this access token. For example, this is under the app ID name and type is a system user and scope issued I mean, uh, about a minute ago this generated and this will go into expire after two months because we selected as a 60 day so it's two months so data access expires never and valid too so this is the valid one and here the important thing is scopes which means the permissions right so what's up business management and what's up business messaging and if you like this video please make sure to subscribe i'm giving a support to you and thank you so much